I'm going to show you how to make my chest. I've had quite a few versions over the years. So before I show you the current one, I'm just going to show you the evolution of how I've been built over the years. This was the first appearance of Sovek. As you can see, he was very bare bones. This was back in like, maybe 2010-ish, maybe even like before that. So it was a long time ago. But at the time, I didn't have any, I didn't really have a lot of lime green pieces, but I did have a bunch of hands. So to make a chest piece, I just kind of threw a bunch of hands on there. And I also didn't have a lime green mask, so I just had a black Rakshi head, and he just kind of wore that as a hat. His name wasn't originally Sobek, it was originally something else, but I don't even remember what it was. And in his first ever appearance, he promptly gets eaten by a frog and dies. So, Mr. Frog, what are you doing? I'm a frog. Oh! This is the one I had for a long time. This was the Mark II Sobek. I'm really happy of how this one was for a while, because the chest is nice and bulky, it just gives him more look, he doesn't look as <laughs> crappy. And his arms were still really thick at the forearm, because now he actually has dual blades. So the way I imagined it was, for the function to actually work, he needed to wear like a pair of gauntlets. So it wasn't just like he was able to switch it at will, it's he had to have a big gauntlet to actually swap it out. And the back I was actually really happy with for a while, and as you can see, I still only had a bunch of lime green hands. This one worked out for a very long time. Ugh. Yeah, and then we have this one. This was like the Mark... I wouldn't even say Mark III, because this is the only footage I have of it. So I'm, I'm going to call it the, like the Mark like 2.01. It was just awful. Like, I experimented a bit. I tried to use like an arm section for more of the chest than back. But it just, it just didn't look right at all. Like, it, it made the other one look like a magnum opus. It was just... Ugh, I don't like it. I really don't like talking about this one. This one sucks. And then this is the Mark III Sobek, my magnum opus. I am so happy of how it turned out. It just looks super nice. Everything's super clean. It's not made of a bunch of hands for once. He even has like a waist that can go forward and back a little bit. His neck can go forward and back. It just looks the best. I'm so happy of how it looks. And I'm going to show you how to build me now. So starting with the arms, the arms are pretty simple. They're basically just regular Imanika arms, just, you know, standard shoulder piece, arm, you know, hand, nothing really special going on there. The only real difference is that on the shoulders, there's some little gray pegs. I forgot what they're called, but it's like the ones where you can put like a stud on, stud on them. I have those in there because when they're in there, they're in there just enough to where the shoulders don't jiggle if you like move them around. Same story with the legs. They're basically just standard Nike legs. I do have some black pegs in the lower leg, just to fill it in a little bit, because some of the fronts on this specific mold, it just seems like there's a lot of empty space, and I'm not a huge fan of that. So I just do that just to fill it in. And now for my chest. Let me just slip into something a bit more comfortable really quick. Ooh, okay, I didn't think it'd be this cold. So this is my basic skeleton. As you can see, it has a lot of potential to put pretty much whatever you want there. I'm going to show you how to make my chest piece and how to make my back piece. So we're going to start with the back. The back piece is basically just a shoulder with a bunch of lime green pieces on it. Not a whole lot going on there. And so before we put those in, we're going to put these two lime green guys up here. And then we're going to put this black piece by my pelvis. And then to put it on, you simply just attach it to the pegs and you flip it around. And then this lime green piece just hangs out there just to fill in some space to get a little bit more color. And then once that's all put in, I'm going to put, put in these two black parts. And then this basically completes the back assembly. The chest piece is two separate pieces. So it's a foot piece with a couple of black parts just to fill in some space and a peg to connect it. And then I've got like a little U-shaped piece that goes around that. So you put the U-shaped piece on first, it just connects to a couple of pegs. And then make sure at the top part that those parts are kind of pushed back a little bit. It gives it a little bit of an angle and it just looks nicer that way. And then once that's all set up, you just simply plug in the foot with the peg and then you just stick the arms back on and that's pretty much it. And now for your amusement, I'm going to self-destruct. <laughs> Sorry, hang on, it, it takes a second, one sec. You know, this would be really painful if I could actually feel pain. I'll just lay here until the next upload, I guess.